The bombing of Hanover was a series of 88 air raids by RAF Bomber Command and the United States Army Air Forces on the German city of Hanover during World War II. 4,748 residents and 2,034 others were killed. Around 1,000 aerial mines, 34,000 high-explosive bombs, 900,000 incendiary bombs and 50,000 fire bombs were dropped. The heaviest raid was that by the RAF on the night of 8 October 1943, killing 1,245 people. This was an example of the carpet bombing of suburban and residential civilian targets laid out in the 14th of February 1942 area bombing directive. At the end of the war, 90% of the city center was destroyed, with 52% of buildings heavily damaged or completely destroyed. A total of 7.5 million cubic meters of rubble had to be removed. Of the 147,222 dwellings recorded at the end of 1939, 51.2% were heavily damaged or totally destroyed, 43.6% lightly or moderately damaged and only 7,489 dwellings completely undamaged. The Egedienkirke and Nikolaikapel were both destroyed but it was decided to leave them in ruins after the war as a war memorial. <laughs> <laughs> Strategic importance Before the war Hanover was the 13th largest city in Germany and Austria, with 471,000 inhabitants, on average this fell to 287,000 during the war mainly due to evacuations and in May 1945 was down to 217,000. It was the headquarters of 19th Infantry Division, Military District 11, and a military training facility. Hanover was an important railway junction at the intersection of two major east west and north south routes. It was the fifth most active industrial centre in the Third Reich, producing tyres for military vehicles and aircraft and other rubber parts and products in three continental ag factories. Its machine and fabric Niedersachsen Hanover and Hanamag factories also produced guns and tracked vehicles, whilst an AFA accumulatoren fabric Aktiengesellschaft, later Vata factory built in 1938 produced batteries for submarines and torpedoes from 1940 onwards. A new Vereinigten Leicht Metalwerk VLW factory had been built in 1935 on a site in the Linden Sud district district formerly used by the Hanovish wagon fabric after the latter went bankrupt. The VLW also built a factory in Lartzen outside the city limits in 1936 which was not directly attacked. Two large refineries Durag and Nerig in Misberg on the northeastern outskirts of the city produced gasoline and motor oils for the Luftwaffe, meaning they were targeted early and continued to be attacked, especially late on in the war. <laughs> <laughs> Raids Raids on Hanover involved a relatively short flying time from bases in the United Kingdom and the nearby Steinhuder Meer provided a useful navigational aid. The 78 hectare Machazé on the southern edge of the city centre was partly covered with wooden boards and artificial islands to make it less recognisable from the air, but the geometrical patterns in the 50 hectare Grower Garten remained undisguised and were used by the RAF's H2S radar from mid-1943 onwards. Nineteen thirty nine and nineteen forty initial raids. 
The first raid was on 4 September 1939, the day after the British declaration of war, it involved just one RAF Armstrong Whitworth Whitley dropping leaflets. On 19 May 1940, the RAF bombed the Misberg refineries, killing 19 people. The 1st of August the same year saw the first raid on Hanover itself, with a raid on the Seiler Strasse in the south of the city. On 30 September 1946, planes destroyed several buildings in Wolfel and Linden. Topic nineteen forty one On the tenth of February nineteen forty one, the city was raided by two hundred and twenty British planes, mainly hitting the Eastern District and killing one hundred and one people. Another British raid followed on the night of 15 16 April on the Varenwald and Hainholz and on 15 16 June on the VLW work factory and the Misberg refineries. Although these raids damaged the factory's productivity, they were repeatedly able to resume production. 26 26th of July 1943 destruction of the city center topic 22 to 23 September 1943 topic 27 to 28 September 1943 Topic The 9th of October 1943 the Black Day Topic the 18th of October 1943 Topic 1944 Topic The 28th of March 1945 final raid Topic Bibliography In German Neue Press, Hanover, Als die Stadt in Trummen Lag, Serie von Juli bis Oktober 2003. In German Jörg Friedrich, der Brand. Deutschland im Bombenkrieg 1940-1945. Ulstein Heiner List, München 2002, ISBN 3 548 60432 3. In German, Heinz Koberg, Hanover 1945. Zerstörung und Bert. Schlutisch Verlagsgesellschaft, Hanover 1985, ISBN 3 87706 198 2. Topic External Links In German Als Hanover in Trum and Lag Builder Gallery in Hanovisch Allgemeine Zeitung vom Oktober 2013